Hey, welcome to the Drep and Stone podcast, the podcast where two friends raise a glass and have a conversation. I'm Nick. I'm Kyle. Kyle, you look like you're well rested. Sure, I like, am. Yeah. yeah, you look like um, you look like. I mean, you look good, man. Thanks, bro. You can put your pants back on though. <laughs> Doubt it. I mean, I'm glad you're comfortable, and I'm glad that we can be comfortable together. Yeah. Uh, but you know, hey, it's for we're gonna be your casa e my me casa <laughs> thing. Sure. <laughs> yeah. I feel at home here, and I and I'm happy, and I'm glad that you do. Uh, but my wife would like you to wear pants. Okay. When she gets back, <laughs> consider them on. <laughs> <laughs> and and I, I say that because uh, I know that recently your schedule changed. Yep. I mean, clearly it's working out well. Loving it. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's that, that's basically what what you're saying is I I went from working mornings. Right. Now I work in the evenings. Yeah. Uh, it, it is my preferred uh lifestyle. I can see it in your upper thighs. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> They are shining. They are well toned. Yeah. 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 Loving it. Good. Good. I'm glad. Yep. Um, you know what else I think we both mutually love? Not just not wearing pants. Hmm. Long walks in the rain? And pina coladas. Right. Yeah, yeah. But outside walking of- in the grass with your shoes off. Oh. Socks off too. Okay. I was like, why would you not like, like barefoot? Yeah, that's that's a great barefoot. feeling, especially like there's some there's some good grass out there. Yep. <laughs> No, no it's, it's drinking whiskey, Kyle. Come yes, on. Yes, <laughs> of course it's drinking whiskey. Okay. Uh, I see you brought us another bottle. Yeah, I got, uh, I've got one here. Well, what is it? This is the Old Forester. Oh, yeah. Single barrel, barrel proof rye. Single barrel, yeah. barrel proof yeah. rye. Yeah. Man. Yeah, I found one at the store the other day. I know. I've, I've actually been looking for this for a little while. Me too. I've, I've been wanting to try yeah. one of the Old Foe. Single barrels, yeah. whether it be bourbon or rye. Bourbon came out like I think three years ago, and the rye maybe two or last year. Yeah. I don't remember. But haven't ever seen one of them in a store to purchase. Yeah, and the, did and said I, I saw me. one. I, in fact, like the single barrel rye, but it was part of like a bundle deal, mm. and it was like a bundle deal with like this, and then you had to buy some like crappy wine, and I was like, <laughs> no. Nah. I'm good. You're not like, doing that to me. Yeah. So I was like, no, not. And it might have been great wine. I, I say crappy wine. I, it might have been great wine, but right. like, no, but that's, I'm not, okay. that's not my jam. Right. Just I want the the bottle of rye. Yeah. Is what I'd like. Right. So I, I passed on it clearly. Yeah. But you didn't. Nah. Found it for MSRP. I was like Whoa. so excited. Yeah. Yeah. This is at a local store. Yep. Oh, nice. Yep. It's a new local store. Hopped in there. I've I've already purchased two bottles there. It's also where I found that. Elijah Craig toasted right. Oh, wow. Did you give him a sticker? Mm, nah. <laughs> you should. You just put a sticker on the door. No, no. No, no. Just go up and just like. I'll, f- I'll find a place to put it. Okay. Super excited. Okay. It's, um, and it's uh, been opened. It has been opened. Yeah. And I just glanced at the bottle. Yeah. 127.1. How about that? <laughs> oh, man. How about that? I think I can like smell the alcohol from here. It's emanating. <laughs> from the bottle yeah, yeah there's like little wavy lines coming <laughs> off of the it. glass you know correct yeah. yeah can we get into it how about some bottle words oh okay it's got it's got a little back label here okay it's got some fun info on it hit me with it old forester is one of the few distilleries to still employ heat cycling yeah i knew that throughout our warehouses forcing the whiskey to move in and out of the barrel throughout its aging process this process along with our proprietary mash bill mm. historic yeast train and own cooperage. I didn't know they did their own cooperage. Oh, yeah, That's pretty yeah. dope. That's kind of cool. Combined with our uncompromising quality standards, produce one of a kind barrels with an exceptional range of flavors. Nice, right? Uh, we'll be the judge of this, but uh, okay. Do continue, Opo. This unfiltered barrel strength offering is our way of sharing their individual character and celebrating how our whiskey matures in oak. Interesting. You said unfiltered. Are there chunky bits in there? Unfiltered. Yeah. I don't really see any chonky bits, but I believe you. That's what, that's what they said. Yeah, I believe it. We got we got one of the pores from the top of the barrel. Oh yeah, for you sure. Know, we didn't get, sure. yeah, get, get, get the bottom that. of the barrel. <laughs> but yeah, 127.1, wow. 63.55 percent. I love it. Yeah, she's let's, a kicker. Let's break into it. Do you see that color? I do. Out of the bottle. <laughs> Woo! Wow! Uh, whoa! <laughs> He's throwing corks. Cock. Cork just jumped out of my hand. Thank you, sir. But of course. <laughs> whiskey in the air. Yeah. Rye whiskey. We don't know the mash bill, though, do we? I mean, it's, I mean, it's proprietary. proprietary. <laughs> right. All the news. Mm. 
It bites. <laughs> Tax your nose. And that is tickling the nose hairs. Wow, that is formidable, man. Yeah. That's, that's a proof. That's a proof. Yeah. <laughs> you try to come at it from different angles and stuff. No, it's, and it's still. It's like, nah. <laughs> you settle down. You don't smell me. Or you go to smell all of me. And <laughs> stab you in the nose. Wow. Like, I, rolling that? I don't, I don't think. <laughs> what? All right, but but once like you gotta get past the uh, the alcohol burn there though, it's really nice like warming rye like rye bread warming rye. Yeah, I get that, and I get a lot of brown sugar. Yeah, I'm gonna just based on nose alone, I'm gonna say it's probably sixty percent rye, and you know, I'm not gonna say forty corn, but like it's it's not a whole big rye. It's definitely rye. Like I can, I can smell the rye in it. Obviously, I'm just gonna say it's not like a big bold rye. Yeah, no, I don't think so. The one that I've got here, uh huh. Not sure how accurate this is, but it's saying 65 percent rye. Okay. 20 percent malted barley, and then 15 percent corn. I could, yeah, yeah, yeah. I can, I can agree with that. I mean, like just based on the nose alone, sure, sure. Yeah, and yeah, definitely malted barley for sure. Like that rounded note. Yeah. If that's not correct. I'm going to say that's pretty close. Yeah. And like the reviews and things that I've seen of this bottle, it's it's been described as a bourbon drinker's rye. Oh, and so for sure. I think that's always kind of a it leans in sweeter. Yeah, for sure. Um, you know, not not those piney right or cinnamony. Well, and I say that because rye. I've been sipping a lot on as we mentioned last episode, a lot of ryes lately. Yeah. And um I recently bought a bottle for a tasting for um, some people, the the piggyback rye, which I just I forgot how much I love piggyback yeah, rye. Yeah, which is a rye. Yeah, it's a hundred percent rye, yeah. and like you know, boom, rye. Right. So like this, it has the rye notes, but it's like here's all this warming sugar nature too. Correct. Yeah. Ooh. Whew. Yeah. But that more more I roll on it and and sniff it and things like I can yeah. I can start to pull out more rye notes. Definitely. They're there. It's almost like rye bread covered in marmite. <laughs> I was gonna say uh, more like a, like a French toast. It's a marble rye French toast. Yeah. All that right. It's a beautiful nose. Shall we? Yes. Oh. Mm. That is delightful. Yeah. So my first my first inclination. Yep. Is the proof is not exactly where I thought it would be on the nose. The proof's a lot. Yeah. Oh, but there it is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it just got me. <laughs> <laughs> it's, <laughs> but first is like sweet like yeah. really lovely sweet. <laughs> also, yeah. it's a really lovely confectionery sweet yeah tons of brown sugar getting into that like molassesy era of like like thick and rich like a caramel drizzle Ugh. but then the rye cuts through that sweet yeah and it makes itself known yeah it's like get out of the way sweet yeah i'm a rye yeah it's prominent on the back end yeah that this is rye and i wonder if that's because of the proof yeah like maybe the, you know what i mean like that proof accentuates the rye and kind of holds it up there yeah or like maybe maybe you know the the strength of the sweetness and the brown sugar up front sure is promoted by the proof yeah so that once everything kind of like neutralizes then it's like oh yeah no this is this is absolutely rye yeah 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 and i think like it's not so rye like a, a stellum rye or a that piggyback that's not it, it's i think it's what you said effervescent is correct rye. yeah yeah it's it's exactly what you said it's a rye for someone who likes bourbon yeah and it's just enough where it's like, hey, yeah, it's here sweeter is a rye. than most ryes. Absolutely, yeah. It, it leans piney. It doesn't lean cinnamony, but it's more herbal than it is pine specific. And it's not spicy rye. No, it's never spicy. No, it's just sweet through yeah. and through. The spicy nature or the the slight peppery is proof to me. Yeah, it's not the 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 notes within that. No, yeah, and it, it never has that like cinnamon heat or just mm, like the mm-hmm. the the spicy like baking spices clovey kind of a thing happening right it's always it's it's just it's just rye bread you know just like you, you wouldn't eat rye bread and think woo, a little, little little spicy yeah no nah, it doesn't it just doesn't ever reach that realm it's just delightful it really truly is like i i didn't know what i was expecting but i wasn't expecting to like it as much as i do i wasn't either honestly like i mean i was i was happy to get it because i've been wanting it for several years now yeah it's good yeah yeah, I like that. Good nose, 
Good palate. Good all round. Yeah. I'm going to put a couple drops in here. Put a couple drops of toilet water in there. Mm. Oh, man. <laughs> I know that's where you got I it. Got you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you worry. It's, it's fresh toilet water. Mm. I, it, was, it was after. Not it's been dirty out. toilet water. <laughs> no, it's, it's fresh, fresh, fresh toilet water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's from the tank. Ah. That makes you feel <laughs> Bro, what's that called? Shit. <laughs> Yeah, that's what it's called. Shit. No, there's some there's something when you take a dump in the tank. <laughs> what? I'm trying to remember what it's called. No. Yeah, it's like a thing. What monster would do that? <laughs> oh man, I can't remember what it's called though. Bummer. Uh, <laughs> Maybe that what it's called? Bummer. Maybe. <laughs> You're just like, oh man, shit. What, what? Why is this not flushing right? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> there's something wrong with the plunger in the back. <laughs> oh, gross. <laughs> I'm sorry, everybody. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, we lost half of the listeners, Kyle. Yep. I'm sorry. Um, they heard the review. <laughs> Great whiskey. Yeah. Ooh, put a little drop of water in there. Oh, man. Yeah. Now it's like maple syrup. Yeah. It. I, I'm surprised by that. I thought if you would have said like, hey, what do you think this is going to do? I was going to say it's going to accentuate the rye, but it didn't. Mm-mm. It accentuated the sweet. <laughs> yeah. That's like a maple creamy. Mm. That's ice cream, by the yeah. way. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, no, I, not you. Oh, I knew that. I knew, I knew oh. you knew that. Oh, okay. I was let, letting them know. Yeah. Adding the water, weirdly, I don't think it closes it off, but it doesn't open it up. It just like accentuates the sweet on the palate too. Yeah. If anything, it it does kind of start to take away the rye. Yeah, which I don't I don't like. I mean, it's still, it's still kind of there on the aftertaste, but yeah, it's not as engaging. Yeah. And it, it really doesn't calm down the proof either. No. <laughs> ah, but yeah, no. Nah, I, I like that bottle a lot. Me too. It's quite good. Pleased with that one. Yeah. Uh, Kyle, before we get into our conversation for this week, uh-huh. I would like to invite everyone to support Drep and Stone. Yep. Uh, would you like to do that as well? Sure, yeah. I'll okay. Do, let me get a pen and paper. Oh, no, we're not writing invitations. Oh. I mean, what did you actually, mean? your handwriting, you could definitely write like nice invitations. I can't write invitations to a three-year-old. Yeah. Because <laughs> <laughs> they can't no, read. No, no, you're supp- oh. Duh. <laughs> no, you're supposed to say no. Your handwriting's fine, man. Oh, my, but I've seen your handwriting. <laughs> I'm not going to lie to people. Or you. Come on, man. I appreciate your honesty. Yeah. Please, would you put your pants on? <laughs> okay. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, we want to invite everyone to support Drep and Stone. Super simple. Uh, just tell someone about Drep and Stone. Yeah. That's, that's it. Yeah. Just tell a friend. Uh, there, there is one other way. What's that? You could leave a comment, review, like, wherever it is you get great podcasts like this one. Yeah. Just go interact with some of our social media. Oh, even better. Easy peasy. Yeah. Just drop, you know, drop the the little uh, the fire emoji sticker thing yeah. on Insta or Twitter's. the poop emoji if you want. We love a good poop emoji. Who doesn't love it? I mean, I mean, maybe that's like a bad sign. I don't know. I don't know. You think the algorithm hates it? Do the fire and the poop. <laughs> fire this <shit>. podcast <laughs> is <laughs> shit on fire, <laughs> or it's <laughs> it's fire shit. <laughs> Either way. Either way. We're happy exactly, about it. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Just tell us tell us what's on your mind. Yeah. We just like to know that you're out there. Exactly. Just, you know, reach out. Yeah. Reach out and touch someone. Yeah. And and we'll we'll get back to you with like, you know, some other emojis. <laughs> sure. Let you know that we're but completely satisfied we with this interaction. We do respond. Like every time anyone responds or says anything to us, we respond back. Yeah, immediately. Ish. But yeah. Pretty definitely. much. Yeah. Within the you know day like guy commented earlier today that marmite is disgusting and i was like you're not wrong <laughs> it's terrible <laughs> it's awful there it is and i can... also don't think it's meant to be eaten by the spoon no it's definitely not but, you know that's our bad <laughs> we we did it wrong that's we okay should, we should have put that on toast and, and finally kyle you can support the podcast by going to patreon patreon.com slash drip and stone yeah helps keep the lights on the fan working the recording machine recording gotta love it yeah pretty easy yep but hey now that we've asked everybody to support us now that we've had a great drink mm. what do you want to talk about this week so i i was you know doom scrolling like you like to do um i don't like it i hate it but i was <laughs> you, you are uh, i had i had a few minutes to kill the other day and I was, I was flipping through and i saw this thing and i immediately like had to send it over to our drip and stone mutual account yeah and there's this celestial event that's about to happen it's over the course of like a month uh but we're gonna have a, a mini moon a mini moon. Yeah. So there's a there's an asteroid that is it, it it's I, I the way I understand it it exists within our solar system. It yeah. it, it orbits the sun. Uh-huh. But for a brief moment over the next you know month or so, uh, it will actually almost make a full orbit around the Earth. It's not going to completely orbit the Earth. Right. It doesn't make a full cycle all the way around. But 
it will join our orbit and be like a little mini moon for like a month. And I was like, that is incredible. You missed a word. Hmm. And you missed the adverb. Incredibly terrifying. <laughs> Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You, you missed. You missed some. Oh some man! Words. See, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't immediately oh, go there. Bro, I went. I went more like, like awe inspiring no, and like no, what a cool thing no. that we're getting a little Did baby you, moon. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. No. That's that's that, it's so cute. Yeah. It's cool. I'm yeah. not. I'm not saying not. But <laughs> you know me. Here's right. where I immediately you went. Immediately like, went existential dread. <laughs> oh yeah. No. For sure. I like that's gonna punch well, a hole <laughs> right through Earth. No. Here's here's what I did. Okay. I read that when you sent it to. Uh, when you sent it to us. <laughs> right. <laughs> I sent it to the two of us. Correct. And immediately I was like, dude, that that is cool. Like, oh, we get a little mini moon. Will I be, first is, will I be able to see it? And the answer is, no. Nah, no definitely chance. not. Yeah. And then it was, this was discovered in August. Yeah, right. Yeah. And like uh, the, the size of this is, uh, it's only 10 meters across. Oh. Yeah, it's... Uh, Jeez, I didn't even look at the size yeah, it's, of it. It's I was very, hoping it was at least like the size of Texas. No, no, no. It's definitely... 10 meters. It's only 10 meters across. I was gonna. I was jokingly going to say it's like the size of your house. That's not even the size of your house. No, it's bigger than this room, bigger than the podcast studio, <laughs> right, but right. like not a whole lot bigger. It's <laughs> 10 meters is what, 30 feet? Yeah, ish, 10 meters. It's about 30 feet. So, like, the size of, like, half a tractor trailer kind of thing. Right. Thing could do damage. Oh, yeah. No, no I mean, lie. But, but, like, not catastrophic. I don't like, know. It, it's not a world ender. Yeah. You know, for sure. It's not state size. Yeah. But it's not going to go through the Earth. My point is, like, this thing is coming close enough to Earth where they're... To orbit it. To orbit it. <laughs> right. Yeah, for sure. Like, the gravitational pull of or- Earth is, like, going to adjust it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You're mine for a month. Correct. I will do with you what I please. And we knew this in August. <laughs> we, <laughs> what? Family friendly podcast. Kyle. Sorry. 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 Yeah. Sorry. Uh, ish. Family friendly ish. We knew about this in August. The uh, the the researchers were out of Madrid, and they found this in August. Mm. And like this could be a problem. <laughs> right. Like it's it's big enough where it could cause a problem for some people right. if if it were to hit us. And by all accounts, everything I read, like that's not the case. Right. But my like you said the existential dread in me went so if this were an issue yeah we knew about this for about a month right and so like that's scary yeah, we nothing we could do about it nothing maybe we maybe, about maybe, it. maybe chuck some nudes nudes maybe maybe <laughs> nudes nudes send us some nude pics <laughs> chuck maybe, some nudes at yeah, it. yeah it's okay. probably fine yeah. probably like all right i got what i needed <laughs> i'm out it's <laughs> just like okay wander off sure like maybe we could chuck some nukes up there at it but like is but that gonna do anything not what you want it to do right, if it's only 10 meters across uh, actually if we, if we, make, if we make contact sure. we're, like, we're obliterating the fuck <laughs> Now that I think about it, you know, we, we could absolutely. Yeah, but the problem is now you change one rock into a, a billion rocks. Yeah, but like, you know, that, that, that's the like atmosphere the, will take care of it. Is that what you're some of it. Okay. Some of it. You know, <laughs> there, there might be still some collateral. Shotgun kind of collateral. Yeah. Uh, but, you know. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Sure. If the thing were bigger, we probably would have known about it. Pew, pew. Yeah. <laughs> right. <laughs> Everybody just stand outside your front lawn. Yeah, this is going to be great. Yeah. Yeah, get your cameras <laughs> ready. Collectively America. Just. <laughs> Everybody's out there with their cell phones. Right. Don't look up. <laughs> yeah, nah, I'm yeah. staring at it. Yeah. Yeah, again, in one side, I'm like, that's amazing. It's so cool. Yeah. We got a 10-meter moon. But then, like, the other side, I'm like, but what if? Or what? Like, like has anybody checked in on our OG moon? Like, how are you feeling about this? <laughs> like, is this going to affect you in any right. way? Excuse have me. Have we thought about this? Yeah, exactly. Like, like I you're have still number one. Question, I just want you to know. Question for you. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> how's it going? Yeah. I'm not, uh, I'm not looking to replace you right. in any way. Don't get your feelings hurt. <laughs> right, right. Like, you are my moon. Yeah. You are the moon. <laughs> yeah. The moon. Yeah. Right. Capital yeah. M. Yeah. Moon. Yeah. But also, like, what? Like, what if it hit the moon? <laughs> That's gonna, that, moon, that's, that, that's a huge issue our for moon's us. Our going to be pissed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> gonna, what, they're not going to enjoy that. No, no. Any bit of it. No, no, it won't. The asteroid, you want to know its its actual name? Sure. It's a... Uh, Rebecca. <laughs> <laughs> Karen. Gosh dang it. No. The asteroid's name is 20, uh, 2024 PT5. Oh. Yeah. It's 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 never as cool uh, as you want pity. it to be. 
Pity five. Pity five. Pity five. Prior research discloses it was never really on a collision course with Earth, but that is uh, basically, like you said, kind of just, you know, in our orbit. Yeah. I mean, I get, I guess a, a 10 meter asteroid, mm-hmm. you know, I guess, I guess we are large enough that we have enough gravitational pull that we can, you know, have some influence on it. I would, yeah. I, from what you're looking at there, can you see like a track of what it's going to do? Yeah. I mean, it's like, this is it is... just like a small adjustment to its orbit? Yeah. No, it's, it's pretty major. Like, oh, it, damn. Yeah. And it, it yeah. comes, it comes close enough to earth. that It is closer than our moon. Like in astrologically, wow. our moon is close. Yeah. Like the moon is a, a close moon. Right. But it comes between the moon and, and earth. Right. So it's close. That's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's close. It's 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 close, and it kind of does like this weird like boomerang kind of thing, and it it basically yeah it it orbits, and then we send it back. Yeah. Oh God. <laughs> it's not like it's not like it gets to Earth and like it just like adjusts it. No, you no, know, no, no, no. Orbit it's, slightly. Like, like, if, like if you've ever, we alter the hell out of. Oh orbit. yeah, like yeah. if you ever see like the uh, the videos of like slingshotting like Voyager or like some you know satellites like right. that, like where it passes by it and goes. Doo! No, no, no. This like comes toward Earth, slows down, yeah. is caught in the Earth's orbit, and then like goes halfway or three quarters of the way around the Earth, yeah, and then is like ejected out. Yeah, I, I was wondering that of like, yeah, does it loop around the backside of us? And it absolutely does. Yeah, no, for sure, it it definitely does. And like again, when you look at the um the the visual of it, like the <laughs> fact that it's between the Earth, like it is. Closer than some satellites are. Is it closer to us than it is closer to the moon? No, it's like literally right in between. It's like, like it, it right will at like halfway. pass in between the Earth and the moon. Okay. Yeah. Basically, and I looked at another website. It's not bright enough to see because it's not like it, it'll. It's not on fire. <laughs> well, it's not right. a rocket out there. Um, but it, yeah, it's just not bright enough to be able to see it, and because of its size, um, it, it you can't really right can't really see it. And then uh, another website goes on to say, like, it's not particularly rare that this happens. Like, it's it's it happens <laughs> often enough, which more doesn't... often than you'd like to know. <laughs> I was just gonna say, which doesn't help my general existential dread. Right? Yeah. <laughs> it's it's both like the the space nerd in me is like that is so cool. That's wild. Yeah. That we could just have a mini moon for yeah, a month. For a month, and it's just like hanging out, doing its doing its moon thing. Man, I want. I wonder if we were like if we were more positioned correctly, where it was hitting, you know light mm. from the sun better if could we see if, it? We, if we could but like 10 meters that's yeah, not that, that thing's tiny that, that'd have to be like across the street for me to see it you know <laughs> especially <with> your eyes <laughs> I, they're bad yeah they're not good no i mean you're not wrong because like it, again it's you know here in america anyway it's smaller than a, a tractor trailer <laughs> right like, like come on nah you're not you get that a mile out you're not gonna be able to see it yeah but is it gonna be within a mile no <laughs> <laughs> no i mean because you only you have to go to get into orbit, it's only like what, like two miles, three miles to get into orbit. No, no, it's definitely further than that. Station. To get to get out of the atmosphere, dude, it's not much, bro. I promise you. When you're in a plane, you're five miles up. What's a mile? Five thousand feet. Okay. Why? Why? Why am I thinking that? <laughs> like it's it's like a hundred miles. Low Earth orbit, twelve hundred miles or less. That's low Earth orbit. Sixty two. Yeah. Okay. Cool. So yeah, that's not that far. But I can't see anything sixty-two miles away. Yeah, you can. You can see. No, I mean, I mean, like a ten-meter object. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. Away. I was like, you, you I definitely could, can. I couldn't, I couldn't see. What's something ten meters? A a, a, a garbage truck is ten meters. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, I, you can see I a garbage see truck. That. I mean, I'm I'm not gonna be able to see that. No. You know, 62 miles away. No, definitely not. And regardless of how much light shining on it. Space is weird, man. <laughs> that's, that's what I come down to. What if there is a xenomorph on that <laughs> rock? You know, like that's the only way you can find a way to survive. Good thing it's slingshotting around us. Yeah. Yeah, because I saw what happens when I Ripley think it's more of an argument airlock. for like, we need to nuke it. <laughs> like, <laughs> nude it? <laughs> send it some nudes. <laughs> it's part us we come from the same origin yeah right you know yeah the we are stars we are made of stars hey man you got anything else just a couple more sips of this beautiful rye whiskey uh me too and <laughs> go on oh. yeah it was that quick you're a fast bender <laughs> who knows if that joke will make sense 
in the episode. We may have to cut all that out. It, uh, it was probably all cut out, yep. knowing how that works. Yep. Yeah, it was probably all yep. cut out. Yep. Which yep. is yep. a shame in some ways, but it's not it's for great. everyone. It's, it's for you. They can I. create their own narrative. A little bit of creativity on their part, you know? Yeah, it's, Let their imagination it's, it's basically wild. all contemporary morality. You can create your own narrative. Yeah. Well, on that note. Yeah. It's a different note. Oh, okay. You know? Yeah. We, we did that note. And now we need another We're on a new note. I got it. That's how music goes. I'd love to know what everyone thinks about the Old Forester Single Barrel Barrel Proof Rye. Yeah. Or have you had the Old Forester Single Barrel Barrel Proof Bourbon? Yeah. Or just like, do you like Old Forester in general? Yeah. I think it's a good standard $25 whiskey. Old foe. Yeah. Nothing bad about it. Bring it. Yeah. Nothing wrong with it. No, definitely not. And it makes a decent old fashioned as well. I'm sure it does. Um, yeah. Uh, we'd also love to know what do you think about near earth objects? Yeah, do they freak you out, or are you just, like, awe-inspired? Can it be both? Yeah, it absolutely can be both. It should be both. <laughs> okay, because yeah, I'm in both. You know, yeah, 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 yeah. You can get in touch with us through email. That's drepandstone at gmail.com. You can also get in touch with us through social media. On social media, uh, you can find us using one word. It's it's drepandstone. Mm. It's, uh, it's it's drip and stone, yeah, but yeah. it's smashed together into one word. D- D-R-E-P. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Sorry, yeah, you can finish no, it. No, it's okay. I, I, I apologize. Go ahead. D-R-E-P. P and, and stone. Yeah, there it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. it's, it's just one one long word. We got don't use it, spaces in the internet. To know. clarify, D R E P A N D stone. S T O N E. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's right. That's Not how you stone. Spell yeah, yeah. Duh, or you know, you, you, right, yeah. you can make a mistake. Right, right, right. right. Now it's all just one word. Yeah. Just, just type it all together. Uh, you'll find us everywhere. Uh, we, we share a lot of cool stuff, a lot yeah. of fun content, and just interact with it and have fun with it. Yeah, we love to connect with you. Yeah, as easy as that. Like we already mentioned, you can support the podcast in a, several different ways. You can go back and listen to the middle of the episode, but I'm going to run you through them real quick. <laughs> ah, we love it. Yeah. You can support Drep and Stow wherever it is. You get great podcasts like this one. You can also support Drep and Stow by joining us on Patreon. That's patreon.com slash Drep and You can also support Drep and Stow by... Uh, the best way. Telling someone about Just Drep let a mother... No. You Samuel L. Jackson? Yeah. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. May your glass overflow. And your ass never show. Or your moon. Cheers, buddy. Cheers.